So, what's up, Ham Pal fans? Sorry that this is late, but you heard about the Gothic King Cobra and the Gothic D. Gothic Dick. Three years later, Ham Pal grown up. So, in this video, this is my intake and my thoughts of bite size, all new Gothic D Sega documentary. Directed and edited by Bite Size himself. But before I get started, I got some good news for y'all. The Traped videos are back. The shout out goes to this guy right here, Bruce Scaraday. Thank you so much for saving the footages. I really appreciate that. So, he emailed the videos to one of my employees and I had one of my employees make a new YouTube channel called Deleted Ham Pow. That's my second channel. And they're currently working on putting more content. They are age restricted because of nudity and inappropriate content. But, so if they get reported again and flagged off of YouTube, my channel would not be deleted and I wouldn't lose all my content. So, do y'all a favor, download them. Go ahead. Because I don't want other um, trolls to report that channel. Then they get deleted but we got him in a secured location as of, as of today. But thank you to that fan out there that saved him. Appreciate it. You saved us. Some classic shit. Now back to my inputs on Bite Size Cobra Vids aired the Gothic D Sega. At first, I was like, um, the Gothic D and the Gothic King Cobra, I thought... That was like shit that was pushed under the carpet. And I thought it was like dealt with. Gothic D does not want an autistic. But it turns out Gothic D is an Asperger autistic person. Did not know that. But it's really hard. I, To my opinion, I do not think she has any forms of autism. I think that she's doing that as in sorrow of the actions she've done. It's just to make it do like sweet talk the Cobra. Not in any sexual way or anything, but to like, oh, I'm really sorry that I've blew up, make this. I did, I did not know your trolls were like that and stuff. And um, same goes for me. Ham pal calling Gothic D gothic dick and laughing at it yeah i was a lot younger and i I did not know the full story of the whole situation i should have never butted in but at the time i stood up for the gothic king cobra because at the time i thought it was some gothic chick bullying an autistic it's like what the fuck why are you bullying someone that has disadvantage of life. Life is so hard on that individual, so you bully him. That's fucked up. So that's why I reacted to this situation of things like this, you know? But I heard this whole documentary, and said, oh, pieces are bitten in, getting in, but my opinion is just like, then she says she has autism. I mean, her friend, um, Sophia, was saying that. That she, she's Asperger's. I just don't see... I mean, you would see Asperger's, a sign of it, in somebody. But I may be wrong. I may be right. I don't know. That's why this is an opinion. To, like, being a suck-ass. You know what being a suck-ass is. Not being in a disrespectful way, but a suck-ass. Like... Here's an example. If I was bullying somebody for having Down syndrome, and I was like, 
Oh, uh, uh, why are you so down all the time? Then I turn around. Oh, shit. That was fucked up of me. I should have never bullied somebody that has Down syndrome. So let me, let me make it right. I go back to that individual and say, I'm sorry that I bullied you. And here's a fact. I have Down syndrome. I do. That's a cover-up. That's just covering up the actions, what she's done. On the flip side, how the Gothic King Cobra is blowing up like saying Gothic D this, Gothic D that. He needs to look at the facts. Gothic D doesn't know where you live. Gothic D doesn't know anything about you, only the videos that you've posted online. And probably Gothic D, see how I stood up for you Gothic King Cobra. Then a couple months down the road, Gothic King Cobra attacked me because I pulled him out for hiding behind the autism card. Nobody gives a fuck about your autism. Damn sure I don't give a fuck about autism either. I'm here to live life. You know, I just enjoy life. I mean, not going to go down the battles between Gothic King Cobra and us. We roasted his ass. He got what he deserved. Somebody needed to call him out for it. And for um, Gothic D, I don't remember the video, what I've done. I was talking about how Gothic D, it was just me standing up for an autistic kid. That was being bull. I thought being bullied by you, but um, he was bullying you too. So it just like this whole film was like seen both cases. Both I think both of y'all just um, blew up, and it just it's like cliche. Both of y'all are wrong, and it's water under the bridge. I know if y'all see this, you're gonna say ham ham pow. You're just mumbling. I mean, I'm mumbling good. But that's what the whole content of the um, video of how this whole case is like the the file. Like, you know, when you go when you get arrested, you have your charges and the um, prosecutor's office presents the judge the case. We see now all of our fans from both parties, see, oh, that went down, oh, then, modest, well, then, um, the autism being flared up in the air, it's just like, damn, we see a lot of weird ass shit, y'all ham pal fans know I get high off of mine, because I need that stigma, you know, I always get high off of mine, a lot of people say, ham pal, how do you get high off of it? Sometimes when I'm at work, I get really fruity. But um, that's between me, my job, and God. You know, I just, I just, I just get high off of mine. That's it. That's it. Bottom line. But um, seeing how he, trolls got the best of both of them, it's just like wow. You just you just provided entertainment for everybody. I know a lot of people are gonna look at it and see how this fulfills, but to be my opinion, it was like, wow, this is what really went down and um I'm very shocked that Sophia was the narrator, was like talking about the case and um just like how she looks back at like a time frame. I love how Bite Size Cobra Vids was able to put this all together. Fantastic, phenomenal documentary. I think this is a number one hit for Bite Size. Just like how Ham Pow becomes the best funeral director. And sorry guys that there wasn't a blog for this week. Because I've had eight funerals back to back Monday night. And Monday during the day. The funerals were Monday all day then i was on duty responding to um death scenes and we were busy and um didn't have the time 
to film a topic and stuff. And y'all have seen, Hampow fans, y'all y'all have seen my car. You've seen the subs. And I would I would I mean I would love to demonstrate music, but I get copyright strikes. Three strikes, Hampow out. So I'm trying to avoid that. So I can't have anything with like other people's music. But um when I'm when I saw this documentary, I played it on the TV in my Tahoe. Because my Tahoe has a TV and it is fully loaded. I was like just sitting back watching it with my brother and with the whole like thing, it was just a total misunderstanding. It's just weird seeing that the truth came out. Here's some of my favorite things about the film. I love the edits and the um closure and love I love how it's like it been 3 years and this case is opened for the very last time because after this video aired and the fans from both parties see this film the case will be closed and the case would be put into a coffin and be buried and gothic d went her way but my opinion about how gothic d yeah understanding being bullied i mean i was bullied too but it made me stronger it put my mental state in a better state because man if i could have never been bullied or had a perfect life and this is in the eyes of Ham Pow. Speaking of my experiences of as a child, I regret my childhood. I regret doing what I've done. But I look back and think about the times and I'm like, oh shit, I literally had a very interesting life, you know? But w when I was bullied, it made yeah, it, was, it made me stronger. It made me want to retaliate and like, ooh, let me fuck with them some more. So, quick, um, quick background of my high school. I was not allowed to graduate with my graduating class. I got my high school diploma in the mail. I went to actually went to two high schools. I went to Ace. I was in a, a we had, I I only went to the the public high school high school graduation yeah i walked there but at Beaufort Jasper Academy for Career and Excellence it was like an alternative school where you learn to learn to learn a trade you learn a trade i wasn't allowed to walk for their graduation because i was a flight risk because my mouth got my self in trouble because i would talk back to the teachers but I had bad things going growing up, but do I let that hold me down? No. Nope. And when I was bullied in school, I took it to heart, and I've learned that you don't do that. And if if you let these bullies or trolls attack you, and they see it, that's what they feed off of. You know, you just fight back and and just fuck with them. You know, and. Um, back when I was saying that um, if I could have never been bullied, I had a perfect life, I would have never been the man I was. You know, I would have never been the man that I became. You know, because you learn to look at life a different way. You look at the situation a different way, and you learn to fuck with them, you know? But enough with my background, and the thing that I disagree with Gothic D says, oh, I should delete everything of mine. Yeah, it, it's annoying when people save your shit and make a YouTube video, a YouTube channel based off of your content. I mean, you should, I mean, this is just an opinion. You should just, like, um, ro do, like, roast them or fuck with them. I mean, just, like, ha, 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 got you back. Something like that. But, um, 
But with the gothic King Cobra, he he hides behind his autism. He uses that as an excuse. And I'm 100% still stand by that, that, with my words on that. Because it's a barrier. I mean, he, th he would think that his trolls or somebody will feel sorry for him. And I don't feel sorry for him, but at, at first I did. When I saw this whole, like, intervention and shit. But, three years later, now, I've, like, l l wanted to do a response video to bite-sized cobra vids. Of, of, like, oh, this was what really happened. And from this situation, I've learned, if I want to get into somebody else's business... I have to investigate first, not jump the gun or doing this kind of bullshit. And, and at the same time, back then, I put it into a comedy, you know? I gotta be funny, you know? Because a lot of people love my dry jokes, my, like, you're so dry. I am dry. I'm, dr I'm like a raisin left in the sun. But that's okay, we keep it moving. So, yeah, I was a lot younger. And I didn't do my research, and I may seem like an asshole, but I'm that big. I could be a big asshole that somebody's dick been into. And when people here on the island, they know that me and my bro have a channel and that we roast people, and we have our dry jokes. They look at us like we are weirdos. Like, everybody would be like, Ham hey, Pow, you're weird. I was like, Thank you! Have a good day. Next. Yeah, I mean, I still get trolls these days. Like, right now, I'm dealing with a troll here on the island where I live at. I'm dealing with a troll, and I'm working with him. And it's really hard. He's a manager, and he, he tells me what to do, and he trolls my ass, too. But what do I do with it about that? I laugh at him. I, 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 that's when I get high off of mine and I start laughing at him follows me and watches me and I have gotten in trouble because one day I'll be walking in I'll be like going into my shift he'll be following me and I'll be like don't be focusing on me my man I'm not the star I'm not the show don't be focusing on me my man then I'll be like keep on going then I turned around and said, I, I don't do that funny bunny shit. I don't do, I was having a bad day. I, I don't do that funny bunny shit. I like them gals. I like them gals, you know? I don't do that funny bunny. Don't be focusing on me, my man. I don't do that kind of work. I don't do that work. So, that's a troll that I've been dealing with for two years. There's a lot of things that I disagree and I agree, but hopefully this video that Bite Size Cobra Vids did is closure. I mean, it's closure for the case, and Gothic D, Sophia, you do you, Gothic King Cobra, you do you, and Hampow, I do me. We keep it moving, so... This is the last thing Ham Pow is going to say about this wonderful, fantastic piece of art that I found on the YouTube. Actually, subscribed to. And Gothic King Cobra, bite sized Cobra videos, is not there to bully you. They're not. He's doing this because your videos are super long. And they just get the highlights of your videos because there's nobody has time to watch your whole clips then you delete them and nobody could see your work so bite size cobra vids helped you get famous gotha king cobra but i do not like some of the things that gothic king cobra does like hides behind autism attacking and etc so this has been my response to the Gothic D Sega. Fantastic work. 
and both parties and fans have a better understanding. We put we put the battle into the ground. I am the funeral director. Put it in the ground. Ham pow. Keep it moving. Peace out.